Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, y'all. Let's get a high vibe affirmation. All right, let's see what high vibrational energies are around Pisces. All right, let's hop to it. Oh, smack me there in the face. Self-forgiveness. That's a great high vibe affirmation. Self-forgiveness. When you keep repeating past events and past mistakes in your mind, you bring your energy down. Say to yourself, I forgive you. I did the best I could with the information I had at the time. Take a deep breath. Period. So self-forgiveness is your high vibe affirmation, Pisces. When you keep repeating past events and past mistakes in your mind, you bring your energy down. Say to yourself, I forgive you. I did the best I could with the information I had at the time. And that's just period, right? So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Self-forgiveness, right? It's the way to end karmic cycles. It's the way to move on, to grow and elevate. All right, Pisces. So um, let's get some more messages. Let's get some more messages from the divine here with the moonology. We're going to pull three of these. Okay. Okay, Pisces. The North Node, right? The universe is saying step out of your comfort zone. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone because it's time to do something different, right? A new, a full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming, right? The answers you need coming, Pisces. Everything is working in divine timing, okay? And we have a waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum, okay? So your, your vibration is rising, okay? So that's some divine messages. Let's get a few more, okay? We got step out of your comfort zone. The answers you need are coming and the energy is gaining momentum, right? Your high vibe is self-forgiveness. And we're going to just collect a few more messages from the divine to help assist you on your journey. The reason it hurts so much is because to separate is because your souls are connected. Okay. So Pisces, I feel like the universe wants you to be okay with, um, with letting go. You know what I'm saying? I feel that deeply. Like, because everybody you love or open your heart up to, whether it's a relationship or not, it could be a friend, right? It could be an animal or pet, right? It, and it's just like, whenever you open up to somebody, it hurts to see them go. It hurts to separate from them. And that's just a natural feeling. It lets you know that you're alive and that you're human and that you're operating out of a good space because love is the binding force, right? So the reason it hurts so much to separate is because your souls are connected. And that's the universe telling you that you become connected to those you love, right? And um, also a warning to be careful about who you love, okay? You know, character means a lot, okay? So let's get some more messages. Let's get some more messages for Pisces here. Okay, adventure awaits you. Go find it. This is the universe saying, go live your best motherfucking life real quick, okay? Go live your best life, Pisces. It's okay. Adventure awaits. Go find it. You ain't going to get nothing accomplished staying in one spot. Okay? You got to move around. You got to see what's out there. And then we have, try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud, Okay? You're not the only one dealing with issues, right? You're not the only one who go through ups and downs, right? Try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Try to put a smile on somebody else's face. Try to understand situations from other people's perspective opposed to just your own. Last but not least, fall in love when you're ready, not when you're lonely, okay? This is the universe saying never make permanent decisions based off of temporary feelings, okay? So, Pisces, that's the energy that the divine has for you at this time. Let's hop into it. We're going to just collect some energy and we're going to see what's going on here. Let's grab a deck. We're going to use this Cleo deck and we're going to see what's going on. What is the energies out here surrounding Pisces, okay? 
Change or transformation, death or rebirth. Pisces, I feel like you've been on the low end of the spectrum and, and now you finna be on the high end. It's like those moments where people, um, you know, like a moment where you never know who you're going to need. So be careful how you treat people. Somebody's going to need you after treating you a certain way. The ch tables are turning, right? That's the transformation. Times is changing. Oh, how times have changed, right? Okay, we got the four of swords, right? Speaks of recovery, healing regeneration rejuvenation hibernation whatever but i feel like there's there's a story that needs to be told for some of you here on how you healed from a situation because sometimes the universe want to use you pisces put you through stuff so you can tell the story so you can teach others right so something you recovered from you need to talk about it okay it might be beneficial to help someone else so they don't have to go through the same thing you went through Okay, king of coins, right? Financial abundance, stability, right? Um, this king of pentacles is Mr. Conceal, don't feel to me, but he's also the each one teach one. So the king of, of coins, he's never too good to help another person succeed, right? So I feel like either, right, your story can help someone else succeed, right? The tables is turned, right? You were once that person who needed help, who needed advice, who needed guidance, right? But the, with the death card, you've transformed, right? Somebody needs to tell a story, magician, right? Manifestation, as above, so below, reaping what you sow, right? So Pisces, uh, I'm feeling like, you know, the tables is turned, okay? And I feel like, for some of you, this is like a recover, a recovering phase for you. You've recovered from some sort of trauma or uh, an event and, and you get to tell your story, right? Because you have healed from it. You've come out of it. You survived it and you get to tell your story, right? You're very comfortable and stable in life. Okay. You seem very financially abundant, right? And you have the power to teach somebody something, right? And I feel like this reading is for you to tell your story and help other people not make the same mistakes you made, right? So people can manifest and create different outcomes in their life. So it feels like you could be like the in that hierophant energy, right? To where you teaching people how to survive something, right? You've overcome something and your story is important because a lot of people go through the same thing you've already going through the same thing you've already been through and the universe wants to use you to to tell your story so that they can learn from you so you're in that hierophant energy here let's see what is this death card pisces this is a transformation death or rebirth okay right and it could be relevant to a love situation I'm hearing snapped. <laughs> okay, I, I'm seriously though, right? It could be relevant to a love situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be tragic. I did just hear snap though, right? Okay, something's changed for you around love. Maybe you learned a lesson in love and it's to tell your story how you survived the love situation or marriage or something could help other people on their journey right it takes a lot of courage and strength to do that to unleash the demons or the darkness right of the story right to reveal what happened to you right but you've healed from it you've recovered from it right and now it's time to speak the truth on it right okay eight of pentacles focus master right you a guru at this you a guru at spreading knowledge Okay, everything you've been through, everything you've healed from, right? You should talk about it, I feel, in this reading. I feel like you a master now. Everything you went through has taught you very valuable lessons, right? And you know how to overcome obstacles, challenges, and changes, right? Right? Now it's time to give back. That's how you give back. That's how maybe your life can come into balance too. Maybe you never told nobody what you really experienced and what you really went through through certain situations. And talking about it could bring in balance for you and other people. 
right? Because you're a master at it now. You heal from it. You learn the lessons, right? Each one teach one here. Mr. Conceal, don't feel, right? Pour into others, right? Pouring into others help you align with your story, okay? Even though you healed from it, right? It still could haunt you sometimes, right? A, a pour into others. Tell your story. Water other people with your story so that they can uh, surpass, I mean, like go past, skip past that experience, right? I feel like you telling your story helps bring other things that you've been manifesting into alignment for you. Two of Swords, right? And this is about making tough decisions, right? Um, people pleasing, and, and, and it has something to do with a companion, right? Okay, could be talking about how hard it was for you to choose yourself over your own companion, right? Right? How, how difficult it was to make decisions, okay? At one point or another. The lessons you learned from that. How you learned how to pour into yourself. How you became successful. How you got out of it. And how you're strong enough to open up and talk about it now. Right? Uh, the magician comes with the queen of coins. And when I saw that rabbit, I immediately thought about fertility here. Okay? But that's not it. Okay, this queen of coins represents your strength, right? It represents how, okay, fertility, okay, the death card, the rebirth. It represents how, you, how you've grown into the person that you are now, right? How strong this situation has made you, right? Look how you're able to stand on your own, hold your own, right? And you, you have the fertilizer for the next generations to come, right? Through your knowledge, right? You get, you know all about difficulty and pain. You know what happens when you let your guard down. Because I see this shield over there. It's like somebody let their guard down and they got hurt, right? So you want to teach people how to stand strong and, and, and manifest what they really want into their life here. Right, Pisces? Because you survived a heartbreaking, difficult situation and it's time for you to tell your story. So your story inspires others, right? Your story inspires others. This is a whole new beginning for you, right? You get to share your wisdom with the world uh, about how your life was torn apart. Right, and how the crumble came for you, how everything fell apart in your life, but you still had the strength to persevere through. Right, the doors are still open for you. Right, there's still more for you. Right, so Pisces, yes, this is the energy. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the sixth chakra. And this is the third eye chakra. And this one is relevant to inner knowing. Okay? I trust my inner knowing and I am at peace with myself. I create more moments of stillness and silence and I listen for the truth. I am open to connecting with and listening to my heart's feelings. And I do not override them with my mind's logic. I practice meditation, prayer, and contemplation. All right, Pisces, you the guru, inner knowing, right? You got all the knowledge, all the wisdom, all the information. Sharing your story can help uh, inspire others to make necessary changes in their life. You being used, baby. So inner knowing is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.